what's up guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be talking about the tools and materials i use to create my drawings all right so let's just get right into the video so we'll start with the charcoal that i use because if you've been following me for a while you know i don't use graphite i use charcoal to shade all right so the charcoal i use is called the jaka compressed assorted gray set Right, so I'll leave everything I'm talking about in the description. I'll leave the names in the description so you guys can go check it out for yourselves. Now this charcoal comes in 12 sticks, right? And it comes in six different shades of gray. That means two sticks each of every grade. Right? So it comes in white all the way to dark gray. I'm sure some of you will be wondering, what do I use to create my dark? How do I get my dark um, shade instead? And that's when I use something like this, which is a compressed black charcoal stick. You can use any brand. This is the Faber Castell. I have the General's brand as well. So I use either this or the General's brand. It doesn't really matter. I get the soft or extra soft grade of this because I want it to be really dark. And then I use that as a seventh grade um, with this one because this one only comes in six grades and it only goes to a dark gray. So I use this as a seventh grade to get my blacks. So those are the charcoal that I use or that's the charcoal that I use. Now let's move on to what I use to apply the charcoal onto the paper which are, which is my paint brushes and my makeup brushes. I use makeup brushes the most to apply the charcoal powder onto my paper. And I also use paint brushes like these, this small one. I usually use this for dark areas because I cut the bristles down so it can, the bristles can be more compact and have a, the, the tip can be more rigid, if, if that makes sense. So that way, when I'm using it, it, it can really, I can really press hard into the paper with this while I'm shading, right? But with something like this, because the bristles are big and, you know, long, it's more of a soft kind of feel to it. So if you're looking to get soft, light, even shadings, this is a good brush to use. But if you want something that's harsh and, you know, can go deep into the paper, then I'll prefer using the smaller paint brush like this. But for these ones, I don't know, have, I don't have any name for them. They don't have any brand listed on them. These makeup brushes, I got them for cheap on Amazon. So you can try out any makeup brushes that you have or that you can find. And the paper, the paint brushes as well, you can just try any random paint brushes. Now let's move on to the pencils that I use. I use graphite pencils only for my sketching. When I'm doing the initial sketch, the shape, um, the outlines and the grid lines, that kind of stuff. That's why I use my graphite, pencil, graphite pencils for after that, I throw my graphite pencil away and then everything else is charcoal pencils and pastel pencils and some colored pencils, which I'll get into. So let's start off with the charcoal pencils. I usually use the famous orange general charcoal pencil, either hard, medium, soft, whichever one. Um, it's, it's a really good charcoal pencil. Even the soft, or even the extra soft can sharpen without breaking. So that's why I like most charcoal pencils. I know when you sharpen them, they break. So I really like these. They're really good. I recommend them for anyone who's into charcoal drawings. And the one I really love out of all the charcoals that I've tried is the Conte Paris. Conte A Paris Noir 2B pencil the reason why i got the 2b instead of the 3b is because the 3b is so soft even though it's darker than the 2b it breaks every time i try to sharpen it so i mean if you can find a way to sharpen it without breaking i've tried the knife i've tried good sharpness maybe i'm just not good at sharpening pencils but for me the 2b i can sharpen it without breaking and it's, it's dark enough so even though the 3B is a little bit darker, I can work with the 2B. So that's a really good pencil as well. Now that's it for the charcoal pencils that I use. Now let's move on to the pencils I use for detailing, creating skin pores, skin texture and all that kind of stuff. Faber-Castell Polychromos Warm Grey Pencils. I think they also go from 
warm gray one to warm gray six them in six different shades of gray just like the charcoal and this is the darkest this is the warm gray six which is the dark gray and then they have the warm gray one is isn't it's not white but it's kind of almost white so i barely use that one but usually i use the warm gray six that's why it's in the pencil holder because i've used it a lot but they still they last me a lot i've had this for about four years now and i still haven't run out so <laughs> that's that's a that's a good thing i guess so yeah these are the pencils that i use again it's called faber castell polychromos warm gray pencils and they have the cool gray as well so you, i haven't tried the cool the cool gray personally but i think the name explains itself it's cool and this one is warm you can try both of them and see which one you like and that's it for the yeah that's for the colored pencils now let's move on to the pastel pencils as well i use the brand called stabilo carbothello pastel pencils and i just took the gray the gray ones the gray colors from the set the pastel set and this one i use for little like medium highlights when i say medium highlights i mean those highlights that are not bright white and they're not they are kind of in between dark and white so kind of medium these pastels work very well for me in that regard so. oh yeah i forgot one of the charcoal pencils which is the white charcoal pencil the white charcoal pencil this one is from generals but you can use any brand like any good brand faber castell um there went you know but i i use the generals brand if that's what you want to get yeah i recommend getting this you can, as you can see i can sharpen this really really well without it breaking and it can create really bright whites this is why I, I actually use on my recent drawing which is behind me on the wall for some of the really bright highlights on the side of the face okay so those are my pencils done now let's move on to the erasers that i use the first eraser is the needed eraser and I'm sure everyone has one of these. I don't have to explain, it's like clay, in case you don't know what it is, it's like clay. You can mold it into any shape you want and it doesn't take off everything from the paper. Especially if you go dark, it's very hard to get everything off. But you can use this to create some little highlights if you want to make a pointy tip like that and then create little dots. The only problem is once you create a few dots, you have to make a point here again, create a few dots, make a point here again. So most of the time I prefer using the pastel pencils for that kind of thing. Or the white charcoal if I want a bright white little dots. That's why I use the charcoal pencil, the white one, or the pastel pencils. Now the second eraser is the Tombow Mono Zero eraser that looks like a pen. Where you push it from the back and then it comes out like a pen. So this one I usually use for the highlights in the hair, the beard, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's a really good tool to have as well. I'm sure most of you know what this eraser is. And the last one is my favorite one, which is the electric eraser or the mechanical eraser, which uses batteries. You put the batteries in the back and then it has a button on the front here where you can press while holding the pencil or you know, holding the eraser and then it spins, I'm sure you can hear the motor spinning. It spins around and then it takes off a lot of the medium, either graphite or charcoal, it works really well. So that's everything that I use. And I almost missed it, but for the paper that I use, I use, what do I use? I use Strathmore Bristol Smooth Paper, all right? For the drawing behind me, that was done with the vellum, paper another smooth paper so I was experimenting with the vellum and to be honest I don't really find much of a difference especially if you are blending if you're going to blend smudge everything in it becomes smooth either way so but when you're just shading with a pencil you can definitely tell that the vellum has some texture to the tooth of the paper compared to the smooth but because I blend everything else with my brushes makeup brushes everything comes out smooth um, so I don't really see much of a difference, but I still prefer the the smooth version, the smooth 
to the vellum so yeah but both of them are good uh, i'll still i'll probably still use the vellum in the future for future drawings if i if i run out of the smooth so yeah so that's it for the video and i hope you guys like the video hope you guys learned something um you guys always ask what i use i always list everything in the description of my videos but i guess i wanted to make a video so it can be there for people to come look at and stuff so you can understand exactly what i use each tool and material for so yeah that's it and i'll see you guys in the next one take care